I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I thank each and every one of you. We have this young couples here, youngsters, school children, the youths are full here. Now you should have the priority. What is your priority in life that has to be fixed? If your priorities are wrong, then you're chasing something wrong. So now we are addressing what all the problems and issues the youth are going through. This generation is going through a lot of tension, stress. They're going through pain because of the environment. All lots of problems are happening among the youth because they are involved in themselves. They want to be independent. They have very high expectations. They have their own priorities of selfishness. And they are chasing, and their main priority has become possessions of the external materials. And for possessing the external materials, they are want the priority, and their priority has become to have money. So their priority is only money, money, money. I ask, why do you want money? I want to buy a Ferrari car. I want to buy i7 phone. I want to buy this. I want to have a good flat. I want to have the position. I want to eat. So the priority is only. I asked, why are you studying? Why you want? You want to be what? Engineer. What do you want to be? A doctor. OK, what do you want to be? Why? Because those professions I want to be is to have money. So the, our priority has changed. And if you are high expectations, and this causes them distress, the expectation is causing you distress, the tension, the worries, the suicides, everything. So the problems of youth are to be independency has come in every child today. And every child, every one of you want to live an independent life. They don't want to listen to the parent. They don't want to listen to the teacher. They don't want to listen to anybody. They only want to listen to their own mind, the head. And what they think is right, what they think is good for them, they only all that. If they don't get that, if they don't achieve what they want, then they go into the depression. And I find many, many highly intelligent students have come across. They have become bipolar, schizophrenia. All this is because of their very high IQ asking questions, why, 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 why? So ask yourself the first question. This is the first fundamental question you should ask yourself. What do you want? What do you want? Come on, tell me, you students. Come on, tell me, what do you want? This has to be very clear in the mind, what you want. So when that question you ask yourself, what do I want? I want just living here to possess the material. What are you chasing for? So the education that you are taking is only a means for you to educate yourself so that you can take a job and get a job and to have money. If that is only your priority, then what happens to your life? In reality, what do you want? Is success. So what is success? for you at this age. Success for you at this age is only money. Having position. Yes, that is not bad wrong in having material positions is not bad wrong, but that is not our context, that is not our purpose of life. What is our purpose of life? What is the purpose of life? What is the purpose that Allah created you? Why have you been created in this planet Earth? Who am I? Is a human being, being human. So the purpose of whatever external your education system is to serve mankind. I am a human being. Human being is one who benefits others. Serving humanity is the priority of human being. So why are you educating yourself? Is to educate so that you can serve humanity. It doesn't mean that you don't have the job. Yes, you have been a professional doctor, 
Yes, you are getting a job, you are getting money, but the priority is not the money, not the job to make money, it's you are serving humanity. And in the service, you are getting the money. So the problem is one major problem we find is because of the today IQ is very high and the child children are want to have an independent, they want to choose their career, they want to choose their spouses, they want to live an independent life, they don't want to listen to the parent, nor they want to be submissive. And this is the major, major problem is being independent. No more submission, no more acceptance of anything. And this is having a greater impact and the very great consequences is being paid by the generations. And if their expectations and if they don't get the freedom, if they don't get that independency, if they don't want, they slip into drugs. And they have come in commit suicide. Today, drugs have become common in certain places in the youth. It has also become fashion. So now, what is the solution for all these problems? Is you have to set your priority right. Why do you want to educate? Why do you want to acquire knowledge? Knowledge is a means for what? Is a means to live a quality life live a life of contribution, live a life of giving something to others. So not that you're educating yourself to just to get a job, get married, get this thing, and think not like a machine. So the major problems of the youth today is one, high expectations, wants, and the wants are not ending, then to be independent, and also the resist imposing the choice where Parents imposing their choices on them. They are becoming rebellions. The students today, youngsters, are rebellions because they want an independent life. They don't want to listen to anybody. Today, the mother has become an enemy. Father has become just a financial, what called credit card. They don't want to listen. So how do we address that? And when, when don't you feel that your wants, your expectations are not full? And there is an easy slip today for the youngsters to move away is to take into drugs or slip away and give up. Now, what is the solution for all these problems? As an independent, now you ask yourself the question, what do the parents want? What do the parent wants from the childhood? The only concern you see whatever your parent says, not as the enemy, not as the dominating, Look at the parents, the concern they have. This is the point that now the younger generation do not listen to the parents from the concern they have. Out of the concern, they don't give you freedom. They don't give you the mobiles in the hand. They don't allow you to watch the internet. Because out of your concern they have, they love you actually. Out of that love, they hold you tight. They don't give the freedom because they have a concern for you. What do you want in life? Yeah, success. And the parent wants you to be successful, to be happy. This is the basic foundation that parents want. Out of that, they sometimes overdo. Yes. So parents and the teachers are the mentors in your life. You, you can experience them. You can take, be as a guide, adopt them, take it in your life. What is good for you, what is evil for you, you have to make a choice ultimately. Today, this independency, this one, is what is causing that is called evil. Allah has given us a way of life, of submission. Submission is a way of life to surrender, to accept the reality, and then choosing a way of life. Now, set your priorities right. Ask yourself, what is the purpose of my life? My purpose in this life is not to achieve only material gain. I'm not just a body and a mind. I'm not to possess money, have external life and die. That is not our purpose. Allah created us as human beings. I have to live as a human beings. A human being is one who serves humanity. So our purpose of life is to serve humanity. 
not serving humanity does not mean you have to do it free. No, no, no. You have to be the best in your profession. Choose to be a scientist. Choose to be a doctor. Choose to be anything in the life and everything. You're serving humanity. And inside that serving humanity is our priority. And next is money will come to you. Success will come to your friend. So this is the way of life is to give what you give, you get back. So the addresses also means that is of drugs happening, suicide rates are going on, high expectations, this will cause you all that stress and tension. Giving up that is to have that knowledge. Knowledge is the priority. You see, one of the examples we give of Ibn Sina, and in Spain, the king was ill. He invited all the doctors and seen to treat him. And Ibn Sina was also had an opportunity to go and in his treatment, the king became well. And then the king asked Ibn Sina, what do you want in life? Now, if they ask me and you anything, we will ask the external position, give me the position, money, land, power, this one. No, he didn't ask. He asked, give me the permission to visit your library because the king's library was so huge of materials his priority was to acquire knowledge. Knowledge is to acquire and to serve. Our priorities are not knowledge. Our priorities has become only money. So they say that most of them, the Muslims spend 90% of the money, money from here to here, 90%. And the West spend 90% of the money from here to here. Now, you see the West, they buy books, they have knowledge, libraries, everything, and the reading habit is so high in the West. But our children, in the least, they don't even read any book other than their school subjects. So knowledge is what is important, is to acquire knowledge so that you can able to serve humanity. This is it. So set your priorities right. If your priorities are right, then you live as good human beings and able to serve humanity, to make a difference to human beings. Inside that, you will enjoy life. This life is temporary. This is not permanent. All the external positions that you are chasing is one little end. But what remains is your character, your moral, your application. And that character, moral, being a hum good human being will take you to a very high level. That is what you have to see is the character in me, who am I and what's my purpose. Thank you very much. Jazakallah khair.